So we're um, from an Estonian website called level1.de mm -hmm. and uh, it's an honor to meet you here in Estonia. Of course, uh, Rovio is a great, uh, great company. Thank you. And uh, maybe we just go to the first question. Sure. Uh, you were uh, learning um, or studying uh, animation at the university, am I right? Um, I was studying arts management so uh, mm -hmm. I worked on different kinds of projects on animation and also on events which turned out to be animated uh, animation festivals so okay. I've, I've been involved in animation from different sides mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, how did you reach to video games industry or, uh, or video games uh, it was uh, really a coincidence I, I was working as a, a freelance animation producer for, for on a project that we did with uh, Studio Combo at that mm -hmm. time and then Studio Combo was bought by Rovio uh, mm. to be the foundation of their animation department mm -hmm. and because we had already worked on like on the project for like a year they then asked me if I want to come on board and mm -hmm. I said like, are you kidding me of course <laughs> <laughs> okay it was incredible so what is the magic behind this uh, video games what, what drives you on or uh, what keeps you going in this, uh, in this industry uh, I think it's the same as with any creative medium that you get to you have almost no limits mm. um, there, there are the, the, the form is quite free you get to do very very different very cool stuff and um, yeah, it's mostly only your imagination limiting mm -hmm. you, and that's that's of course very gives you much freedom, but also requires good ideas because if you don't have too too many boundaries, then uh, you have to set them yourselves. You know, the quality uh, mm -hmm. quality level has to be set by you. Okay, but uh, then uh, what are the main resemblances and and uh, differences between uh, animation and video games? Um, the main one I'd say is uh, the linearity or non-linearity of the storytelling. Mm. So in animation, you you watch the story from uh, beginning to end, mm -hmm. whereas in the game you can actively engage with the, mm -hmm. with the story. If if it's longer, uh, if it's like a uh, narrative mm -hmm. game, then mm -hmm. then you can really have input into it. And I think that's the most important part. Visually, uh, they are very similar uh, nowadays mm. already, uh, and there are almost all creative artists. You know, their 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 positions are quite similar. Mm. So, it's I, I think it's um, part on how you engage with with the with the content. Okay, so you came here to Estonia uh, to recruit some creative people. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yep. So, what do you think those uh, uh, younger people, uh, because they're usually the ones who consume this uh, video games medium, uh, are they uh, appropriate people to work in industry or, uh, or what, do, what do they bring this industry? I think any candidate, you know, they, they bring their own experience and their own mm. creativity to it. And of course, younger people might have better understanding on, on how the medium works or how, like you said, how it is, you know, how the fans use use it, mm. how, how they enjoy the game or the, the animation or, or whatever. And of course that's important for us. But on the other hand, uh, Angry Birds, for example, is it's loved by young and old and by boys and girls mm. alike. So it doesn't matter so much if for us if, if the people we work with are younger or older. Some might say that younger people have less you know um, restrictions on, on mm -hmm. their creativity mm -hmm. uh, it's you know it's been said that uh, in in the beginner's mind there are no uh, restrictions but in in the experts mind mm. there's a lot of restriction what you can yeah. do so um, definitely we're always interested in, in young and hungry people who want mm -hmm. to show their skills mm. but uh, if, if we can get Basically, for us, the most important thing is to just have 
the best, the more uh, the the skilled and the best uh, and the most creative people, no matter mm-hmm. where they come from, no matter how old or young they are. Yeah. So, mm, you ask those uh, people to bring uh, one's portfolios. Mm-hmm. So, um, is the Angry Birds going to have a new visual style or uh, some other uh, Ravi or new uh, new content? Uh, there, there, there is going to you know the the style is always evolving mm-hmm. and um, like I was talking in the presentation, we want to be able to do different things. We want to be able to do top notch two D animation, mm-hmm. uh, top notch uh, CGI, uh, and uh, we are al- also you know trying dabbling with uh, clay animation and whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to be able to say that any technology we want to use we can make the best out of mm. that so we are always interested in people who are doing different things and okay. uh, there, there, there is of course at some point there's going to be other things than Angry Birds coming out of Rovio mm. as well uh, but um, you'll hear about those soon yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much and we wish you, you. Uh, best of luck with, uh, with the Angry Birds and other projects as well, and uh, maybe you'll find some a nice animator from Estonia or, or professional. I so, hope so, thank you. Thanks mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. Pleasure.